there friends welcome back to my channel I have got a fun one today at least I think it is because it is on an item that I have just been obsessed with lately and if you couldn't already tell from the title of the video I am sharing with you my new planner caddy that I purchased off of Amazon I shared a picture of this on Instagram a few days ago and I got a lot of interest and in people wanting to see what I keep inside. So let me turn the camera around and show you. Okay, so we have here the overhead shot, of course. I wanted to try to find a better angle to film this at, but I will just kind of tip it from side to side just so you could see the pockets a little bit better. Um, with this being an overhead view, but I'm going to start with the perimeter. So this would be the front of the planner. You have the logo, everything Mary, and I purchased this again off of Amazon and you have two nice sturdy handles. Like I've got this thing stuffed and it's pretty heavy. The handles are super, super sturdy. I think they're a great length as well. I mean, Pretty much I can plan anywhere in my house and this goes with me. And that's what I just love about having this organized and portable now. My dining room table, which was my planner space for the longest time, was an absolute mess. And I was just sick and tired of looking at that. So, so that's what prompted me to get this. So with the first pocket here or the middle pocket, I have some sticky, I'm not gonna hold it on the side there, I'm just gonna put that down, okay. I have some sticky notes, both are from cloth and paper, and then I also have just some washi that I've been using frequently um, the past uh, few weeks. So I've just been keeping that in there. Here's another sticky note from Peanuts Planner Co. So in this pocket here, I've just been keeping my sticky notes and then whatever washi I've just been enjoying at the moment. And so that's the middle pocket. Then we come here in the front. I'm not gonna go through all of the pens, but these are all of my most used pens that I keep in the front pocket here. And then behind them, there's another little pocket. It's kind of like a little slot pocket there. I have my most used stickers. These are from Mandy Lynn Plans. And on the other side, I have another pocket that's similar to that pen one. It's the same size and everything. I have my Heidi Swap date stamp and I have, if I can get in there, my eraser. And then I have more stickers in this slot and these are Planner Kate stickers. These are kind of like the um, sample stickers that you get in her orders. So I like to keep those on hand and the Mandy Lynn plan ones on hand so that way I'm making sure I'm using what I have which is a goal of mine this year then we get on to the sides and with this side pocket we have a nice closure and I just have a bunch of kind of paper clips and magnetic clips that I keep in this pocket just in case I need to mark something in my planner then I have some of my washi samples that I've received from just planner friends. And I also have some stencils in this pocket too. And it's nice because it's just a nice little, again, kind of like a little slip pocket there. So I think that's just perfect size for those items. Then more stickers. These are from MJ and Hope. I don't use these quite as often, but I still like to keep them on hand, especially since they are just nice little icon stickers because I know I will find use for them. So that's on this side. Let's turn her around. So we're back at the front here. We're going to the other side. and. On this side, I have pockets that are a little bit, you can tell that they're a little bit bigger on this side. So I keep some 
Avery tabs and my double-sided tape. And that is within that pocket. And then the pocket next to it, I keep my HP sprocket because I do like to put pictures in my planner at times. And these are just some refill ink. Um, and this is just some ink refills for one of my favorite pens. It's actually this one right here. It's the Jetstream Uni and it's a five color with the pencil in there as well. And I just find that it writes super, super nice. So I just got some more black ink refills. Then besides those two pockets, you have another big longer slit pocket behind them. And so this is where I'm keeping my bigger stickers. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Some of my bigger stickers and a card from a friend. And then this I just need to put in my budget planner. That's going to go in this guy here. I made a new key for it. So I'm keeping those right now in this bigger or longer pocket here, which has been just perfect for those small sticker items. And then the last side we have here in the back is a nice big zipper pocket here. This is where I keep all of my tools. So my correction tape, my scissors, I have some tweezers, I have um, a little, what do they call this thing? I forget. Oh my God. Why am I not? Oh, correct. No, exacto knife. Duh. So my exacto knife and yeah, those are my tools that I have in the back here. And I like that it's zipped because some of these items are pretty sharp and can be dangerous. So they are in there snugly. So those are the four corners that you have there, the four sides. And you can see like the pockets are nice because they do vary a little bit. Some are bigger, some have the Velcro to really keep it sturdy. Some are just, you know, the, the slit pockets. You have a really nice variety for pocket configuration there. Okay, so in the center here, this is where, as you can tell, we've got my planners and all of my favorite highlighters. So within this, and I will show you exactly how customizable this is. I'll pull some things out from here and give you a better idea. But these two pockets that you see here on the side are not adjustable. However, this section is. So what I have in these two pockets, first off, you can already tell, I have all of my favorite highlighters and I've got mild liners, I have some Tombow, I have some Erin Condren, and I also have, this is also Tombow as well, so the Twin Tone and then your, your basic, the super popular one right now, just kind of the for brush lettering. Um, so all of the highlighters and markers that I could possibly want. Then in this section here, this is kind of where I'm keeping my budgeting items. So I always need a ruler and my calculator for my budgeting. And then I like to use these Stabilo highlighters for my color coding. And then lastly in here from the Budget Mom is her new, um, cash breakdown sticky notes that you can take to the bank whenever you're pulling cash out so you have the denominations on there this is so incredibly handy i absolutely love this so all of my budgeting items are in this pocket and then for the big pocket here we have all of the planners that i am currently working in right now so i have my daily passion planner that I use for my journaling and reflecting on the day. Um, I do have lots of passion planner videos on my channel, so I will link the playlist in the cards if you're interested in seeing those. Then we come here to, oh, I've got some more stickers. I forgot I had this. Um, I have from Virgo and Paper her brush letter, her hand lettered stickers there. 
And so next planner here is my compact Filofax. And I did a video recently on this setup as well. I will leave that linked in the cards. This planner here, it's another Filofax. It is pretty beat up. So what I'm using this for is to hold my sinking funds. So I have these from the Budget Mom. I purchased these. These are her tear free and water resistant um, reusable cash envelopes. So this is where I'm just keeping all of my sinking funds that aren't, um, I have two sinking fund accounts in um, a different bank. Because they are larger amounts, I don't feel comfortable keeping that in cash, but these are smaller amounts. So I wanna keep those in cash. So that is in that file of facts. Then we have here, this, I again have another video on this. This is from Planner Perfect. This is her B6 Traveler's Notebook. And I also have her inserts in here that I really love to work in. If I wanna do, cause the paper is so fantastic. If I wanna do more of a traditional type of bullet journal or use some watercolor, things like that, I will go to this planner because it is just a wonderful size. It's very customizable and I love her artwork so very much. So this is my Planner Perfect B6. And then we come into my budget planner. And so this I am in every single day. Absolutely wanna make sure I have it nearby. I have a couple of Erin Condren sticker books that I'm trying to use up in my budget planner. And then she is empty here. So let me show you how you can adjust the pockets. Oh, and you know what? I lied. I said these were not adjustable. They totally are. Obviously, you just kind of saw me pull these out. These do the same thing. So you can keep four kind of quad pockets here, and then you have a little space in there for your planner. If you have, you know, fewer planners but more supplies, then that would work out perfectly. But I love that you can just push these pockets in and open up the space. You can open up this whole entire thing if you wanted to and push these in as well. But you have different configurations that you can work with and I absolutely love how customizable that is. But for right now, because I am liking to keep all of these guys on hand, you know, I've got part budgeting needs and then of course my planning needs this configuration has just been so perfect it just fits everything without it being scrunched and as i you know showed you here i have all the supplies that i use regularly and it's organized i and i know a lot of us have the problem of just pulling things out when we're in our craft mode and then it becomes a scattered mess. So this is allowing me to be so much more organized. I'm sure my husband is probably appreciating it since he can sit at the dining table now without um, being bombarded with all of my crap. <laughs> so this has just been absolutely fantastic. Cannot recommend it enough. I will leave a link down below to this product. They do have different colors and designs. So I just love how neutral the black and white is on this one, but they've got a lot of other ones to choose from. So that information will, down, will be down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope that this gives you a little bit of inspiration for how you can maybe organize your planner items a little bit more efficiently because I was certainly looking to do that and I've been very happy with this product. So thank you so much for joining me in today's video guys. As always I appreciate you all so very much and I will see you again soon in my next video. Bye!